Civil Engineering Academy. All right, what's going on, everybody? Let's go ahead and solve this problem. This is a good construction type of problem. Uh, the problem basically states that the weight of the extra soil needed to be hauled off site after the terrain in the given diagram is leveled to an elevation of zero feet. Find the weight. I don't know what I just said. Find the weight of the extra soil needed to be hauled off. The soil has a unit weight of 125 PCF and the width of the pile, this whole pile, is 35 feet. So you can see we've got an, a lot of soil that needs to be removed and a little soil needs to be filled. So there's going to be some extra soil needed to be hauled off. And they're asking us to find out what the weight of that is. Notice the units uh, are in tons, not in pounds. So um, how are we going to solve this? Well, this is this is simple. First of all, I'm just going to call this area. This is the area that we need to basically excavate. This is the area we need to fill. Um, I'm going to call this the positive side. Okay, so here's our positive side. All we need to do is figure out the area of this whole thing. So all you're going to do is chop this thing up into little different, you know, areas. You get a triangle and a square down there. Another rectangle, another triangle. Okay, you get you get the idea. Okay, you're chopping this thing up into different shapes, and you're getting the areas of all these shapes. So let's look at this. I'm going to call this side the positive side. We'll call this the negative side because we're going to solve for this, and then subtract out this, and that will be our answer. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's just start plugging away the areas here. So we got one half. The base times the height, which is 5 feet, times 5 feet. Plus, we've got the next area, which is just a 10 times a 5. Okay, plus base times the height, 10 times 5. Plus the triangle, 1 half base times the height. Plus base times the height plus another one, base times the height, plus another triangle, one half, base of one, times the height of five, plus, I'm doing this big uh, square area now, which is just basically nine times 15, plus one half, base of five feet, times height of 15 feet. It's a five. Sorry. Okay. What does that give me? Punch all that out. So all I did is figured out the areas of all these little chunks, all these slices, and the area gives me 272.5. This is area, so this is square feet. Now the next thing we need to do is solve for that minus. Okay, I called all this minus. So let's solve for what that is. Sorry, this is not written very well. There we go. So basically, you've got a triangle, one half, base of three times the height. Though I'm just going to say five. Uh, plus the square area, which is the base times the base times height of five, plus the area of the second triangle, one half times 3 times 5. You could have just multiplied this by 2, but we're going to go ahead and do it the long way because that's that's how we roll. All right, punch that out. I get an answer of 65 feet squared. Okay, so what's the delta here? What's the difference? So the difference of 272.5 minus 65, that gives me an answer of 207.5. And now, what do we need to do? Well, we were given the unit weight. We're given the width. We have to multiply by those two things. So I'm going to multiply that by 125 PCF. Multiply that by 35 feet in width. And what do you get? I get an answer here of 907812.5 pounds. Now, the answer is in tons, so... We, what do we need to do? We just need to divide it by 2,000 pounds in a ton. And I get an answer of 453.9, and that is in tons. And so what's the closest answer here? The closest answer here is C.
Okay, so hopefully this was a good one for you. It's just a quick run through, good type of excavation type of problem dealing with the weight of the soil based on this diagram. All right, guys, we'll see you later.